Welcome to the Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. The first step is to log into the GUI of the UCM. I'm going to show you how to create an extension and manually register it. In subsequent videos, I will cover the extension settings in more detail. There are several ways you can create extensions. You can either use the Setup Wizard, import extensions using a CSV file, or you can manually create one or more extensions, like I will show you today. First, click the Add button. You can change the add method to batch if you would like to create multiple extensions, all using the same general settings. If you decide to use just the default settings here, you can always edit your extension settings later. Next, click Save, then click OK, and lastly, click Apply Changes. If you wish to use extension numbers that the UCM does not allow by default, you can do so by editing the general settings as shown here. You can either edit the range of numbers allowed to something the UCM does not have a conflict with, or you can check the box next to Disable Extension Range to allow any extension number to be used. Be careful if you enable this setting. Another topic to show you today is how to edit a group of extensions and apply the same settings to the selected group. Go back to your extensions page. You can either select the individual extensions to edit by selecting the checkboxes next to each extension or use the edit all SIP button to edit all of the extensions at once. Always remember to click Save and then Apply Changes. The last topic for today is to manually configure a phone to register to the UCM. While most prefer to use some type of auto-provisioning like Xero Config, I wanted to show you that you can also set up phones through the phone's GUI interface quickly and easily. First, get the IP address of the phone to log into. Then, Open a browser tab and log into the phone's GUI. You will need to know the IP address of the UCM, the extension number you want to assign to the phone, and the SIP password located on the UCM for the extension being programmed. Fill in the extension's number, the UCM's IP address, and the SIP password you copied from the UCM's extension settings. Then click the Save and Apply button. That's it! You can check that the phone is now registered because the gray handset icon has now changed to green in the top left corner of the phone's GUI. You can also check the phone's status on the UCM under Extensions. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.